So the thing about nutrition for vegetarian people is that we focus on uh, the lack of protein. Protein is very difficult to achieve because uh, protein is found in all plant compounds but it's only 10% of the food unlike a non-veg where it is 40 to 50 to 60% of the non-veg food. So to get that 10% of the protein in veg food, for example, you need to eat uh, two cups of rajma or two cups of chana. So the calories go up. So you tend to become more mota when you want to get the uh, protein. So one superfood that I would highly recommend to the vegetarian people is chia seeds. Chia seeds is a very good source of omega-3 and a good source of protein when you take two or three tablespoons a day. In addition to this, soybean twice a week can really help you meet your proteins in your diet. Please remember one advice from me, Ryan Fernando. The world has been oversold on protein because protein powder companies want to convince you that you need to have more protein. Before media, everyone ate normally, everyone had muscles, everyone lived normally. You do not need more protein. The human body will absorb the protein that you give it. In periods of excess, it will take it and grow you, you become fat. In periods of famine, you become slimmer. Unfortunately, in today's world, there is no famine. There is excess and there is immediate gratification of your taste buds. Hello, home delivery, can I get three rasgullas? So, for vegetarians, meet a nutritionist and understand the fact of the matter is, what are the great foods you can eat? My top choices, beetroot, white chana, brown chana, rajma, lobia, soybean twice a week, thrice a week, nuts and seeds. If you don't get any pimples on your skin and you're not allergic to any of the nuts or seeds, please do it. Again, the advice I'm giving you is general. No one size fits all and disclaimer to you, like you know when you have sharing a shareholder document, subject to market risk and everything, there is a market risk for you for every food you eat. Please do a food allergy test. Don't take the advice of a nutritionist randomly.